Okay, so here's how you add the character into the car. So, uh, first of all, uh, your car must be rigged, and what I mean by that is, uh, so it behaves like a rig, like this, like you can move it, you can touch all the parts and move them. Uh, I made a tutorial on how to rig, uh, how to rig cars, and uh, the link to that tutorial is going to be in the description. So, um, yeah, once you got your rigged car, uh, we can proceed. So first, um, you're gonna need a character. Um, it doesn't matter if it's R6 or uh, R15. It works either way. So first, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open the character, and you're gonna want to find the humanoid root part, and uh, you're gonna want to delete it. Okay. So uh, the character will not function on his own. So if you're gonna open it and try to add him into the animator you can see that he he's not a rig anymore so he's broken but uh, we did that on purpose so next what we want to do is we want to drag the character into uh, the car so you're just going to be sitting in here it doesn't really matter where you put it but I just like to put them here so that it's just easier to find so next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the body of your car and uh, it kind of depends on how you organize your cars but uh, for any of my rigs, if you're gonna use my rigs, then they're gonna be in this body tab and you're gonna uh, Look for a part that says body. So once you find the part that says body You're gonna want to uh, Set that one and then hold uh, and then you're gonna want to go to this character and you're gonna want to find uh, the torso of the character for our 15 characters it's gonna be the lower torso so you hold control and select the uh, torso of the character. Keep in mind, first the body of the car must be selected and then the character's torso. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up Easy World, go to parts and click join in place. Now let's go really quickly test it out in the moon, in moon animator. And as we can see, the character moves with the car. As well, we can put the character into the car and just position him like he's driving the car, perhaps. I'm just running quickly. See? It's not really that hard. And uh, the car, uh, see, the car will move with the character and they will act uh, fine. But uh, what if you want to add multiple characters into the car? So, um,. Let me insert a second character. And now we're just gonna name this something else. So something else. Person 2, for example. Now, uh, we could just add it straight into the car, but then it would break the rigs, rig of the car. And this character will be functional, and this one will just be broken. So, uh, how do we add that? Well, in order to do that, we're gonna have to insert a part. Okay, we're gonna insert this part. And uh, just name it anything really, but I like to name mine like attachment, attachment. And then uh, if you're gonna have more than one character, you can just name it uh, more than two characters. Then you can just name it attachment one. And then uh, depending on how many more characters you are adding, you can change the the number of the attachment. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna uh, open the car and we're just gonna put it into this uh, other tab. It doesn't really matter where you put it, but I just like to organize it this way. So now we're gonna select the body of the car and then the attachment part. Keep in mind the body of the car must be selected first and then the attachment part. You're gonna wanna go to Easy World, go to Parts and click Join in Place. Okay, so 
Now, you're gonna gr wanna grab this character. Let me close all this. And then we're gonna put him into the car. Okay, so next we're gonna go, we're gonna select the attachment part. And then, um, oh, right, forgot to do something. Let's go into this person and really quickly delete the humanoid root part. There we go. So now we can go and uh, select the attachment and now select the torso of the character. Okay. And then we're gonna go to Easy World, go to Parts, and click Join in Place. So now, if we go to Moon Animator and open it up, we can uh, see that they're both moving. So, like, we can move the characters around. Like, this doesn't really, oops, doesn't really matter. See, the car works fine. So you can position them inside the car. Also, the part will be, you can move the character with the part. I don't see a situation where you will need to do that, but you can do that. But uh, if you don't want this part to be here, which I think you probably don't, you can just go over here to transparency and set it to one. There we go. And now, um, yeah, so now you can add uh, characters into the cars. This is, um, took me forever to find this method, how to figure it out. I didn't know myself before, but I actually discovered it by accident. So yeah, I wanted just to show it to you guys. Also, some people have been saying that uh, the phone slash tablet button uh, has disappeared uh, from here. And uh, actually they did not remove it. If you go over here to test and then click on this button that says devices, it will open up this thing so yeah just so you know they had moved it and yeah that is it thank you guys for watching